and it's an hour, so I kind of want it to show up in the hour. Number time, how long the message is played for, put like three seconds, and the string of the message is what it's going to say. So we want to say uh, something such as uh, the number you value you entered is not a valid number. And now we can add another if statement. We want to do if deposit. So we basically want to check do they have enough money to actually make this purchase. So we want to do if uh, apply get. Oh shit, I always forget the dot copy though. And 
deposit money is greater than zero, then do this, else you don't have the amount of money to deposit. So what that should do, we may as well add this as a separate if statement actually, because then we can also notify the player. So then we we'll do if, wait, no, if deposit money is greater than zero, then do this, else, and then, else we can notify them saying it isn't. Right, okay, so now that should have fixed the issues we're having. Right, so now if we do that, we'll say you've deposited 100,000. She seemed to have that money apparently. So now if we put like a stupid value, you cannot deposit less than zero. Right, now we always need to set this value back to a nice value, so what we could just do is we could just change this so it sets it back to zero. This is just for test purposes. Right, set back to zero, and now we just reverse that. Now we can actually add money into the bank account. Just keep adding money. Right, okay, so now we want to obviously add the withdraw money function so they can actually take the money out. So it's basically something extremely similar to this. We could just do that. Do that. Right, okay. Uh, call it ATM withdraw. How much would you like to with withdraw? Uh, yeah, yeah. Custom ATM. This is the name of the net message game. Withdraw. Change that to withdraw. Now that should be the client sorted. Now we can literally just copy this. Make sure we change the name of that message. Uh, change deposit money to withdraw money. Most of these can just be replaced, to be honest. So that one could be replaced. Uh, if withdraw money is greater than zero, that could be also replaced. Okay, this is the bit where we're actually going to need to change. So we need to check if they have enough balance. Right, okay. So, we can get this here. Should replace that. That's basically saying if they have uh, more money than they want to withdraw or the same amount in their bank account, then let them do it. Otherwise, tell them they... Oh, you don't have this amount of money to withdraw in your account. Right, okay, so it won't let them withdraw if they don't have enough money in the account. So what we want to do is want to add the... We'll do that afterwards. We don't want them to obviously spam the system. Probably break it if your server's already lagging a lot. So uh, we want to set the uh, player's ATM balance uh, to their current balance. Take the, take the withdraw money. And then we want to give them the withdraw money. And then we put you off with... Right, okay, so now if we set our set money, break like zero, now zero money, try to deposit, can't deposit, if you withdraw, can withdraw 100, can withdraw, let's draw, oh, we don't have enough money, can withdraw 300, empty our bank account out, let's try withdraw more, can't. Okay, so that's basically the basics of an ATM, but now we need to get it so it actually saves data, because if I left now and we joined that, we wouldn't have the same amount of money. Right, okay, so what we can do now is, in that auto run, this is actually quite useful, uh, we'll just create a global function that we can easily use, so we can do a local apply meta equals uh, meta table, I don't think that's right, is it play meta, meta, find meta table. Right, okay, so we can set it to a find meta table and then we'll call that uh, player. Well, that's, I mean, that is the name, so we can't choose that. This basically allows us to affect a player. And then we can, it basically adds a function that we can run on the player. So we've called, so this will be function, then it'll be apply meta, and then so this will basically run this function on the player here. This is the player. So we can refer to that self. So we'll do apply meta, uh, update. Uh, ATM to file. What this will basically do is it'll basically uh, we're going to make this function so it gets the the current amount of money the player has and it saves it to the file so that it will be updated when they rejoin. Right, so now in here we self is going to be the player so we can check if not is 
valid right so and return end right now what we can do is get it to write it to the file so uh, we're going to be using file.write and so on so uh, if we search on the thingy file file dot you've got a bunch of these file dot create file dot exists and then I believe uh, we're going to be using file dot create directory first of all so we want to create a directory in the data folder so if we go to a data folder which is in Gary's mod and then data or basically we can get it to create a uh, a folder in here. Don't really need that. Right, so we get to create a folder in here. So if you do uh, file.create directory, we'll call it, uh, call it custom underscore atm. can be really any name, just to, use to make sure it's consistent throughout. Now we need to check that if the file doesn't, if the folder does already exist. We don't want it to keep recreating the folder. If not, file.exists. Uh, custom ATM. I, f I f don't. I'm um, sorry. I could check. I'm not sure if we need to define that. Yeah, the string path. Yeah, because uh, you can write files in like the game and so on. I don't know if you can actually write them in the game, but I think you can check if they exist. So if uh, that file already exists, then do this. If it doesn't exist, then do this. So basically, create it. So now we can get to write uh, the player's value. So what we can do is we can do local uh, apply money equals uh, what's it? Let's go grab it. Uh, apply get now. So this is basically the money that they currently have. And now we can write this into a file. So we do file dot write, and then we can do. Right, we'll go check. So just right, yeah, so it's the name of the file and the content. So the name of the file, we'll just leave that empty now, and the content will be uh, apply money. And then we'll do that as, uh, and the, like, this will be the location and the name, so it'll be in the custom underscore ATM folder, and it'll be slash, and then it'll be the player, it'll be self steam ID. Right, this will basically make it unique to each of the players so inside custom ATM folder. You just have a bunch of .txt files uh, with the Steam ID of the player. If that makes sense. So now this will basically write the money into there when we call update ATM to files. So that should be a good function. And that should be fine. So we'll basically run this whenever it's successfully in withdrawals. You can always set up a time which will probably be more less server heavy. But we just want to make sure that it always does it without having to wait. So now that it updates each time we do it, if we go check the data file, there's nothing in there, but if we deposit some money, okay, it seems right, you withdraw, we've got an error, uh, update ATM to file. Did we forget to save? Um, the apply money. Let's 
go check to make sure we've done it right. File dot right. Uh, the file name, the string dot content. Uh, oh shit, uh, we forgot to add dot txt onto the end. My bad. Right, okay, so I need to put dot, and then we just put dot txt. Right, okay, so now that should hopefully work. Uh, what do we forget to add? Now, if we withdraw 100, that should hopefully update it finally. Yep, there we go. Now, inside custom ATM, we've got my Steam ID 64.txt, and inside there, it has a value of 0. But if we now deposit, uh, let's say, 190 into there, it will update it. So now, inside here, we have 190. So now, if we left the server and rejoined, it should hopefully update that value back to. 190, whereas before it was, oh no, it won't, never mind. I'm completely wrong, because we've not actually made it so it fetched that far. So if we check now, we zero dollars there, yeah. Right, so it's not actually fetching it back from the file uh, when the player logs on. So we can add a simple hook. We'll do hook, loop, hook dot add uh, player initial spawn. This is basically just adding a hook, so when the player first spawns on the server, we'll grab this, it's just a, now the value enter now is a unique hook name, so we'll call it custom atm underscore underscore hook. So this base is a custom name, and then function is just the apply who just spawned. We can end off, right. So now we basically want to, so it sets the network int of their custom balance to what it gets from the file. So what we want to do is make just copy this code so we can check if the apply is not valid then don't do this and then make sure that folder exists so it doesn't cause any errors and then we'll do local apply money equals uh, file.read this we'll do file.read I think file.read may require the data folder yeah it wants the path as well which is just data uh, that one change that to apply and we want to make sure that we're putting it to a number because it will read it as a string and there we go, apply money. Now we can do we can do apply set network in uh, to apply money. But obviously we want to this is the issue with this is that uh if if it's if primaries exist then it's not gonna do this, so we want to do if uh ply if ply money then so if primaries exist and don't do this. Also want to make to either we want to check to make sure it actually exists first. So we can do this. So if I'll explain this in a minute. I'm not sure about far does it exist, don't know if that wants the path, did it? I think it does, yeah. So we just want to put data again. So if, uh, oh yeah, sorry, so if file dot exists, so it's basically going to say, if the player already has something written there, they're doing this, uh, if it doesn't, then don't do anything. And then it should, that should hopefully work. Right, so that means that the player, the value should reset, right, so let's give us some money, set money, brick, there, do some random value. So we could deposit it, let's deposit 10k, now we've got oh, 100k in our bank account. Now if we disconnect and reconnect, the same amount of money should be in our bank account. And right, so we're back in, if we go to this ATM, it's uh, now got 90k in it, uh, because I just took some out off screen, sorry about that. But anyway, so we can deposit money into it, uh, we don't have that enough money, to, we don't have enough money to deposit, so deposit 10k is back up to 100 and it will basically, this value will save whenever you deposit or withdraw money. And when they rejoin the same amount of money, will be in the ATM. Uh, I might create an extension to this where I add uh, things such as uh, interest, so the money actually goes up, so there's actually a point of place putting money into it. And yeah, so that's basically the basis of creating an ATM. I hope you understood, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, in the description, there will be a link to downloading the complete add on. Uh, should be pretty simple, just download it and put in the add ons. Uh, yeah. And if we also do want to make an extension, I'll probably make it so you can set a max value for, uh, to be deposited, withdrawn, max value to be stored, etc. But anyway, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Like I already said, uh, make, make sure to subscribe and like the video. Make sure to join the Discord, which also has, uh, has the link in the description. Uh, there's friendly people that will happily help you. So take care.
have a good day.